there's quite a few things in that motion. And I'm going to start with, we mentioned the Northlander a few times in that, and there was an announcement on Sunday. The Premier came to Timmins through the ministers and announced that the Northlander is coming back. Well, they announced that the Northlander, that was basically the same announcement four years ago. They announced it was going to come back in the first term. It didn't. Okay. It, not, and we made the same promise, but, and I would like to also put in the record that we have full faith in the ONTC that they have the capacity, the will, the technological skill to bring it back. And Northerners want it back and they need it back. Full faith in the ONTC. But if you will recall, Speaker, this wasn't the first time that the North, that the government announced that the Northlander was coming back. It was announced a few months previously and caused quite a furor in Northern Ontario because it was announced that it was all, it was going to go to Timmins because previously it had gone to Cocker. And actually, I, perhaps the government was expecting a, you know, a hue and cry from us, but actually the, the member from Timmins has been advocating to get the train back into Timmins for years. Timmins is the biggest city in our part of the North. It should have train service. And we agreed with that, the, but we did make a caveat along with many other Northerners that it should be connected to the train in Cochrane because there is a train in Cochrane that goes to the coast. It goes to Moose Knee. It serves the First Nations and, and others along the coast. And it didn't make sense to us not to have those two trains connected. And the people of the North, they united as we always do. And they made it very clear to the government that those trains should be connected. And there is a mention of it in the press release. But when you look at the press release, the press release is a bit different than the statements of what the government's saying. So the press release talks about an updated initial business case. Well, an updated initial business case isn't a design plan for the the new train system. No, again, ONTC can make the plan. I have no, we have no doubts that ONTC can do this. And they will do this. You know, if, if either one of us get elected, they will do this. But it was also mentioned that where Cochrane was mentioned, that there would be a future feasibility work on a new rail connection to Cochrane. So future feasibility work tells me, Northerners, that our job here isn't done. Because updated initial business case is a bit fuzzy, but future feasibility work on a new rail connection to Cochrane, that's certainly not cast in stone. And we need, again, Northerners need to work together to make sure that those trail, those, those rail lines are connected. So when the system, and regardless who brings the system back, that it is a fully integrated working system that as many Northerners as possible can use. And that's why Timmins is important, because you can go farther than Timmins. It has to be an integrated plan. But I encourage Northerners that this is not the time to say, oh, we have one Ford is going to come through on this. No. <laughs> The, the, this is pretty fuzzy. And really, if you want to be really critical, we're at the exact same point as we were this time four years ago. Promise, promise a no train, but you don't really see the train coming. <laughs>